Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting, inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share our content with your network. You never know what someone needs to know. Today, y'all have seen them. Y'all have been a part of it. It is that DJ, y'all, the guy that, or guy or gal in this case, that's spinning the records and getting it all hyped at the parties, at the weddings. But where did these DJs come from? Is there a DJ school someplace? Well, today we're going to find out. You all, please help me welcome DJ Dove in the house. What's going on, sir? What's up, Ricky? How you doing? I am doing well. DJ Dub, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about with you. So many of us see the DJs. We, you know, we dance. We're all out there doing the electric slide and whatever else we ought not be doing in front of our kids. But <laughs> where in the world did you get started being a DJ? Did you were you that six year old boy that says I want to be a DJ when I get big? Is that what happened? Oh, it didn't start that far back, but it did start pretty far, pretty far. So it started back in 1995, actually. Okay. Uh, you can believe that. Um, <laughs> uh, my roommate was a DJ. Okay. And um, yes, so he, uh, well, it started off with my cousin. Um, mm -hmm. he, was, he was a DJ. And he was my inspiration. And my roommate in college was uh, a DJ. And so I was like, you know, I want to I want to come DJ with you. He was like, so he took me in the basement. He mm -hmm. put me on his his vinyl records, you know, and he was like, this, this is how you do it. He taught me the basics and I would go down to the basement and just work on it, work on it. And then finally, I, you know, I would go out with him and I would help him with his records, mm -hmm. records back in the day. You know? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carrying crates of records. And then it got to the point where he was, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom, take over mm -hmm. for a few minutes. That was my time to shine. So, you know, I, I kind of gradually worked my way in there, yeah. paid my dues, and, okay. um, you know, after time, here I am, okay. 28 years later. <laughs> 28 years. So have you been a DJ all that time, or was there something else you were doing in between time? Well, I was, I was in the Army. Okay. And so while I was in the Army, I was also a DJ. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it got to the point where, like, um, I would DJ and people would be like, wait, are you in the army? Or are you a DJ? Okay. <laughs> like, I'm both. <laughs> You're the army guy who's a DJ. I don't know. Exactly. exactly. Every deployment, I DJ. Um, when I went overseas, I DJ mm -hmm. and you know, came back to the States. I got back into, you know, I had to get back into um, networking, you know, to get sure. back into you know, clubs and bars and stuff. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's 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 been a fun ride so far. I bet. So you've been DJing for all these years, and you know, I asked earlier. You know, is there a DJ school? Because you said that you know you were down in the basement learning to to scratch and all the things that DJs do. But now, man, you could literally go to school to be a DJ, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have um um uh, out on the um west coast. This school called mm -hmm. Scratch Academy. And uh, I'm not too familiar with how they, yes, I'm not 100% familiar with how they work mm -hmm. it. You know, you have mm -hmm. to already be a DJ and they just teach right. some techniques, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot, not a lot of ways out there to learn how to DJ. Wow. A lot of guys nowadays go on YouTube and they're like, oh, I'm going to be yeah. a DJ. They watch oh, YouTube. Sure. I kind of look sideways at them. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. YouTube is everything. We could free, fix our car, change the right change the ribbons on whatever you could learn to DJ on. Come on. Yeah, YouTube. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be like that. I mean, I, I just think that's so cool. So in all your DJ, and I like you said, you had to do some networking because DJs are literally every, they are in clubs. They are at weddings. They are at churches. They, DJs are everywhere. So yeah. as a DJ, where do you network at? Well, it's good to get in with a group of DJs um, that are already doing stuff in whatever city you're in. 
okay. start networking with them. And, mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes like for me, um, cause I, you know, I moved to El Paso in 2010. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would walk into, you know, a bar club, you know, listen to it for a while, get mm -hmm. to know the bartender, then ask about the manager. And so, Hey, here's my card. You know, if you have any open nights, if you, you know, need a, a DJ, you know, let me know. And that's, that's, you know, you just got to be on the grind. Yeah. That, that's yeah. That, that's I, I understand the grind, sir. It, it's interesting that you said, you know, you go into the clubs, you're listening to the DJs as a DJ listening to DJs. What are you listening for? I'm listening to see song selection. Um, you know, if he's reading this crowd, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be critical, but you know, as a DJ, it's like, you just can't help but just, just listen. Like, okay, let's see. You know, listen to his blends, mm. you know, see, you know, if, if the music sounds right. So, yeah. 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 And, and it just comes secondhand. It's natural. That That's <laughs> amazing to me because when I go in some place and I'm listening to a DJ, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm listening mostly to the music and, you know, do I know that song and can I sing that song? And is, yeah. <laughs> you remember back in the day when, you know, folks were clubbing, not me, but other people. And they right. would, you okay. know, you would hear your song and folks would be like, what? And everybody runs to the floor type um, deal. As a DJ, are moments like that what you're looking for from your crowd? Oh yeah, definitely. Moments where I see someone bobbing their head it's mm -hmm. like, okay, they like this. Let me go a little deeper into this this genre real quick, see what happens. And then mm -hmm. when they come to the floor, like, oh, that's my jam. Like, got them. Got them. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, like I said, is doing what they ought not be doing in front of their kids. I'm just saying. So exactly. Exactly. let's talk about weddings a little bit. Because wedding DJing, I guess, is a little different than the club DJing. Am I right? Yes, it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference for you? Well, the difference is um, when, when for a wedding, there's always that uh, there's always those wedding songs that you have to be prepared for, and that's mm -hmm. why I like, to, I like to be prepared. So I communicate a lot with the bride and groom, or if they have a uh, wedding coordinator mm -hmm. um, for those special songs for the first dance, the daddy daughter dance. Um, if they have a, a if they toss when they toss the bouquet down to pulling the, uh, what's it called? The garter belt? Garter, yeah. Yeah, the garter, yes. Uh, like everything. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. even had to put together some mixes because there's been weddings where they want to, the wedding party to enter and do a certain little dance routine. Oh, yeah. They, they want certain songs. And it, so I, I'll pre-make a little mix for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it gets it gets a lot of, it's more time consuming doing weddings. Is it? Yes, yes. A lot of preparation. Wow. Yeah, a lot of preparation. It, it's interesting because like you said, you're 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 dealing with a lot of people, not just the bride, but the bride, the bride's mom, the wedding coordinator, the niece from the cousins whose sister is the flower girl. You, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That is a lot of work. So I know you said back in the 90s, you were hauling around crates of vinyl, which by the way, I'm still a fan. What are you hauling around now? Because I'm sure you're not hauling around records from the 80s forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hauling around a, a an external hard drive <laughs> <laughs> about this big, mm -hmm. and and my my laptop and uh and my controller. Um, wow. I have I have turntables. Mm -hmm. Um, I bring them out every now and then. Depends mm -hmm. on the event that I'm doing. Um, but for the most part, because because a uh, controller, um, if you're not familiar with that, it's pretty much something. It looks like a turntable, but it's mm -hmm. all compact into one. And you know you have all your special effects and everything on there, and it's just okay. it's easy and compact um, to get in and get out of a venue. So yeah, yeah. yeah so wow, yeah, you, you never you never think, you never know the stuff like that. Like I said, you as as me as a guest, I go into the party. I'm like, oh, or oh, you know, <laughs> whether yeah. or not was was working or was planned, not realizing the amount of work that actually goes into being a DJ. So. Yes, so somebody was, comes to you and they say, you know, I, I want to do this wedding. I'm going to have 300 people or I'm going to have 17 people. It's going to be a small, intimate thing. What's one of the first things that you do? One of the first things I do is I, I find out, I talk to the bride and groom. So I want to mm -hmm. see what kind of um, 
what what kind of music genre that they are interested in because mm -hmm. I've had a lot of weddings where you know they'll say you know um especially being here in El Paso mm -hmm. um my uh, my in-laws are are Mexican so can you mm -hmm. play some Mexican music mm -hmm. you know, along with some R&B and hip hop right. you know being in El Paso as long as I have you know I'm used to that so sure. you know that's that's my main thing I want to make sure that everyone is happy yeah so I go into it yeah. thinking okay what can I, what can I do and play to make everyone happy and dance there you go because that that's your whole thing you got one job make everybody mm -hmm. dance yeah <laughs> let me ask you are there some times has there ever been a wedding that you're like I will never do this again <laughs> what happened there um <laughs> Let me see. Uh, sometimes, uh, okay. Um, sometimes at weddings, you'll have the the um, the bridesmaids, mm. right? They'll they'll come and say, "Hey, play this. Hey, play that. Play this." Mm -hmm. Like, okay. And but then and then sometimes someone comes say, "Well, the bride wants wants you to play this right now, and mm -hmm. that's this is her wedding. So sure. I'm gonna play what the bride wants. You know, if mm -hmm. she wants this all to be next. I got you." you're gonna have to wait sometimes they get a little upset because you know even at, at weddings you know sometimes you know they they have a little drink and you know sometimes, sometimes when you drink you get a little aggressive like oh wait a minute we need to play my song come on dj right you know yeah so but yeah other than that you know i'm, I'm used to that but yeah that's that's nothing so really crazy mm -hmm. well that's Always a good little thing kids, little kids they can you play justin bieber <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad if they need to hear Justin Bieber I'm all about it as long as we don't have to see hear Baby Shark that's just me I'm just oh saying. yes oh my gosh no <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of times you also I see you kind of online you do a live thing online every once in a while where you're just spinning records and playing music in the afternoon yeah, yeah. I, I I try to do that. It, it it helps to keep the you know peep my my page bubbling. People mm -hmm. interested, like oh he's going live. Let's see what he's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. Sometimes I I like to go live. Yeah. Go live. You know, play anything I want. You know, and mix whatever genre. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yeah, because yeah. I know I'm I'm subscribed to your channel, so I know when you go live, and I you know I make sure I'm like yeah whatever get it because a lot of times you play <laughs> my songs, so I'm super excited about that whole thing. So yes. if somebody is looking forward to I need a DJ for my wedding, can you give us some ideas what someone would should look for in a DJ? Because right now everybody everybody can DJ. <laughs> What's yeah. the difference between a good one and a bad one, and what should I look for for a wedding? Well, I have, I have a, a quote that, that might, might help some people. Okay. All right. Every good DJ is not cheap, and a cheap DJ is not good. Drop the mic. We're done. Thank you all for coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so good, though, and it's so true. It is. It's true. It's true. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. That's one mm. thing that, you know, I like to stress to clients. You know, you get what you pay for. Um, right. You should look for someone who has experience doing weddings or just mm -hmm. experience period as a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, making sure that they have, you know, good professional sounding equipment because, you know, you don't want a uh, DJ rolling up in there <laughs> with old busted speaker. <laughs> and an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, this is your special day. You want it to sound good and look good. Presentation mm -hmm. is also a lot. You know, so That's I have true. DJ facade, have my lights, mm -hmm. um, the up lighting. I can put up lighting all around the room, you know, so you want you want someone who's a, a professional. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that that is so true. So when you're talking about, you know, all good DJs aren't cheap and cheap DJs ain't that good type deal. What would you look at as a price range for a DJ? A DJ? Because if somebody comes to me and says, yeah, I can DJ your wedding for, you know, seventeen dollars. Or I can DJ your wedding for seventeen thousand dollars. What am I looking for? <laughs> well, it, it it depends on your celebrity status, first of all. Because if you're a celebrity, wow. mm -hmm. you're probably gonna uh, have a DJ that's seventeen thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You know, you're talking about um, <laughs> Jazzy Jeff <laughs> or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, on uh, on my my local level, you mm -hmm. know, most mm -hmm. people. 
Um, and and people like to be they, they like to negotiate, you know. Which sure. is okay. Um, mm -hmm. well, for me, you know, I I have I try to make it simple. I have mm -hmm. two packages for, okay. for my wedding, you okay. know, um, and that's between eight hundred dollars and a thousand. Mm -hmm. um, also, if I was in a different area code, I could mm -hmm. probably charge. Sure. You so know, you got to so, know your market, like knowing your room. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I like Those it. Market, uh -huh. So when you're when you're dealing with brides and grooms and you meet with them, do you do you guys call them in and like, hey, come over here or I'm coming to you because I need to I need to talk to you. I need to see what you're planning, see what your vibe is like, you know, because yeah. that will dictate, I guess, a lot of the music that you choose, though, too. Right. It does. It does. Um, and I'm always flexible. Like I can meet you somewhere mm -hmm. or, wherever, or meet you at your house or meet you at the venue. Yeah. You know, I really like to go to the venue because that way mm -hmm. I can see, OK where I'm going to be set up, my space, um, how much sound I'm going to need, how much, how many lights, vice versa. So sure, man, it, again, there's so much stuff that you just don't realize. So DJ Dub, what is the name of your, of, of your company? So the name of my company is actually a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> DJ Dub's mobile DJ service. Oh, that's not too, okay. Not I thought it was going to be that was going to be all out of the box there, but that's not too bad. And if somebody, <laughs> wanted, yeah, yeah cause I've seen some, it is, it is a lot going on with that name. So if somebody yeah, wanted to reach out and touch base with you, how could they find you? Well, they can find me on Instagram, um, DJ underscore dub. That's two mm -hmm. B's. Okay. Um, or my website, DJ dub.com. Sounds good. Don't worry, y'all. If you didn't get that, we're going to make sure that all of his contact information is in the description below. And don't forget, while you're here, like, subscribe, and share us with your network as well. And if you or someone you know has an inspiring story, a topic we have to talk about, or a small business that needs to be highlighted, go over to our website at faithonfriday.com and send us an, e an email. DJ Dub, my friend, before I let you go... Yes, Ricky. <laughs> we got to play a game. So this game is called This or That. And I'm going to give you the choice of some things. And you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? All right, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Tea. Prince or Michael Jackson? <laughs> Prince. Okay, because I was about to hang up on you, sir. All right. <laughs> Work from home or I'd rather go to the office? Work from home. Jesus. No, that's right. You better say that out loud. Okay. Romantic wow. comedy or action adventure? Action adventure. Mm. Fight, flee, or freeze? <laughs> Both. <laughs> well, just fight and fight and flee. <laughs> okay, okay, I feel you. All right, I'm a, it's gonna be some action. I'm not gonna. Well, something's going down. It's something's going. going down. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, do it yourself or hire a professional. Depends on the task. Mm hmm. Good points. I like it. Okay. I ain't mad at you. Bite your tongue or clap back? Are we clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need to think of that for a moment or you're good? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Is we going in? Okay, I got you. Large crowds or small groups? Small groups. Okay. Slow dance or shake that thing? <laughs> slow dance let's do so slow dance ah that's so cute little romantic in there i see okay yes. peanut butter smooth or crunchy smooth all right all right and finally sir what would you say is your superpower my faith in god i love it you cannot go wrong with that nope that's it right there i that is another drop the mic moment y'all <laughs> DJ Dub, thank you so much for your time and for spending it with me. 
Yes, I had a great time. Thank you for the invitation. It is my joy, my pleasure. Everybody watching, thank you all so much. I appreciate you. And don't forget, we'll see you next time on Faith on Friday Presents. Thank you.